vendor portals in Zoho Recruit. Now, if an organization would like to outsource their recruitment for a job opening to a staffing agency or to a recruitment agency, they can utilize the vendor portal feature within Zoho Recruit. Now, to set up the vendor portal, navigate to Setup on the right top corner, select Vendor Portal within Portal Setup, and make sure that the vendor portal is enabled. You can then go ahead and customize the fields that a vendor needs to fill in when they're referring a candidate to the organization. So on the right panel of the screen, you can see the active fields that a vendor is going to fill in. And on the left panel of the screen, you can see the various fields that are available in the candidates module and can potentially be placed on the vendor portal. So if you decide to place a specific field on the vendor portal, you can mark it as either required, which is mandatory. You can mark it as optional or you can turn it off altogether. So once you've placed the field, you can also choose to add a tooltip by clicking on the three dotted icon against the respective field. And you can add a tooltip either as a text alone or as a link and text. Once you're done determining the fields, you can go ahead and click on save. Furthermore, you can also choose to determine a cooling off period as well. Now, a cooling off period is the duration after which a candidate can be referred again to the organization by a vendor. So if a candidate is inactive in the database, you can determine the duration before which a vendor can refer the same candidate again. So go ahead, click on cooling off period, and then you can determine the duration by enabling cooling off period and determine the number of days as well. So if we give the cooling off period as 15 days, if a candidate has been inactive within Zoho Recruit for 15 days, the same candidate can be referred again by a vendor and the referral will be accepted within the system. So once you're done determining your cooling off period, you can go ahead and click on save. Furthermore, you can also customize the email templates for a vendor in terms of the invitation email, the forgotten password email, or when a job is shared to the vendor. And finally, a login information that is sent to the vendor with steps to access the vendor portal once they confirm their logins. Once the configuration of the vendor portal is completed, the next step involved is to add vendors and then invite them to your Zoho Recruit account. Now, to add a vendor, navigate to the Vendors module. And you can either choose to add a vendor by clicking on the plus icon, entering the vendor information in, or you can import vendors through a spreadsheet using the import vendors option on the right top corner. Once the vendor has been created within Zoho Recruit, you can access the vendor and click on the invite option on the right top corner, which is a green button. Using the invitation, the vendor can now set up their logins and access the vendor portal. Now, once the vendors are added and the invitations are sent to them, the next step involved is to share job openings to the vendors. Now, to share a job opening to a vendor, navigate to the job openings module, select the job opening that you would like to share with the vendor, click on the three dotted icon on the right top corner, select share to vendors, and the first step involved is to determine the commission or the monetary compensation that a vendor receives as a result of a candidate being hired through their referral. So when you're adding a vendor commission, select the currency in which the commission needs to be processed in and then select the value as well. Once you're done adding the vendor commission, you can then select the vendor that you would like to share the job opening with. Now keep in mind, the organization gets to determine which job opening is shared with which vendor. So once you're done selecting the vendor, go ahead and click on share. The vendor will now be able to access the job opening. Now, from the vendor portal login, the vendor can type their email address. Add their password. And as soon as they log in on their home dashboard, they can see the activities that have happened on their vendor portal and a quick pipeline of the various candidates that they have submitted as well. From the left panel, they can access jobs. They can review the job openings that have been shared with them. Select the job opening and then review the job opening details. And to refer a candidate, they can click on add resume and upload a resume within Zoho Recruit, which will create the candidate record and attach an application as well to the respective job opening. And within the submitted candidates tab, 
vendors can review the various candidates that have been submitted to them and their current status as well. Let us go ahead and add a sample candidate to review. So once the vendor has clicked on add resume, they can review the list of fields that have been filled in as the result of the resume being passed through the vendor portal and go ahead and click on submit candidate. Now, because the candidate already exists and cooling off period is disabled on the Zoho Recruit account, the system is not taking the submission into account. So I'm changing up the email and now let us go ahead and click on submit candidate. And the candidate has been submitted successfully through the vendor portal login. Now the organization from their logins can access the respective job opening. And from the left panel under the application section, they can review the application that has been submitted by the vendor. And on the origin field within the application, we can see that the origin is marked as agency, which means that this particular application and candidate was created through the vendor portal. And right next to it, we can also see the vendor name in terms of which vendor has submitted this candidate. Apart from this, you can also navigate to the vendors module, select the vendor and from the left panel of the screen, under submitted candidates, you can see all the candidates that have been submitted by this particular vendor as well. 